How you doing, everybody? Today we're gonna take a quick look at 12 Strong, directed by Nikolai Fudelsi and starring Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon, and Navid Negaban. This is based on a true story of 12 soldiers that were dropped into Afghanistan shortly after 9-11 and teamed up with the Afghanistan Northern Alliance to show the Taliban what for. And the more I think about this movie, the more I can't help but wonder... Why now? I mean, this is very much a pro-war movie and seems to look pretty favorably upon the war in Afghanistan, something that I think most Americans nowadays do not look favorably upon. So, just the timing seems very weird. This seems like a movie that should have been released like 15 years ago. Now, I understand the story wasn't declassified yet 15 years ago, so that wasn't really an option. But even when the book that this movie was based on was released back in 2009, it seemed like we were kind of past looking upon this war in a favorable light. And the basic idea behind the mission of Captain Mitch Nelson, who is played by Chris Hemsworth and his crew, was the Donald Rumsfeld strategy of limited ground forces accompanied by coordinated airstrikes. And in this particular case, that strategy did work quite well, and I am not about to argue that point, nor am I about to discount what these brave men accomplished, because they basically fought tanks with horses and won. Respect. But of course, in the years that followed, that strategy didn't work so well. And given what we know today, it makes a speech given by Hemsworth in this movie ring pretty hollow. There's a moment where he gives this big motivational speech to his troops just before they make their big push into Mazari Sharif. And he's telling his men, this is our big chance to take out the Taliban for good. Yeah, how'd that work out? He also tells them something to the effect of, we're here because of what happened on 9-11, and if we don't stop them, it'll happen again. Which, no. 9-11 can never happen again for one very simple reason. Prior to 9-11, common sense dictated that if someone tried to hijack your plane, you let them have what they want because it was your best chance of surviving. With 9-11, that went right out the window. There is no chance in hell anyone could ever pull off an attack like that ever again. And I'm sure that speech would have sounded good at the time, but now... Boy, was I not feeling it. But questionable message aside, I'll give the movie this much, it's pretty well made for what it is. I have no real complaints about the acting, although seeing Rob Riggle of all people in a straight role was a little odd. And I did enjoy the camaraderie between the soldiers, and especially between Hemsworth and Negabon, who plays the Afghan General Dostum. Dostum was a very compelling character, and I do find it interesting that in a movie that's very much a tribute to the American troops, the most compelling character is not an American. And I don't know how this is going to play in the rest of the country, but at least in my theater, the one moment during this movie that actually got applause from the audience was not a moment that involved Captain Nelson or any of the American troops, but a moment that involved General Dostum. And to be fair, it was a pretty fucking cool moment. And I don't know what he was saying in that moment because I don't speak Pashto and they didn't put any subtitles on the screen, but you know, I didn't understand the words, but I got the message. And the combat scenes are intense. I was actually quite impressed with that, considering Fudelsi, the director, is basically a rookie. I think prior to this, he was mostly known for directing commercials. Maybe war movies are his true calling, we'll see. There's not a whole lot in the way of character development, and there are times when it tends to get a bit predictable. Early on in the movie, one of the American soldiers is shadowed by an Afghan boy who's probably not more than 12 years old, barely old enough to hold a rifle. And as soon as these two meet, you know exactly where it's gonna go. At first, he doesn't like the kid, but over time he befriends them, and then there's this big intense moment towards the end where the kid almost dies, but he ends up saving him. And yeah, it's... Given how predictable this is, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, that's not exactly how it happened in real life. So, final verdict? It's okay. I don't know if it's worth paying full price, but might be worth a matinee just for the combat scenes alone. And if nothing else, it's an interesting look back at a time when we thought the war with the Taliban was going to be a walk in the park. 
And that's about all I got to say about 12 Strong. So until next time, take care.